Alrighty, right in front of me, this is the Eva Chill. It's a personal air cooler and it's the model EV500. And the wattage is only 7.5 watts to run this thing. So it's a space cooler. Instead of a space heater, space cooler. Cools the air, humidifies, it purifies so it takes out dust particles and cleans the air. And most importantly, portable, works on USB power supply. Can be run by using a laptop or a power bank. As you can see the pictures right here showing you how it's all gonna work. So I'm definitely excited to test this out here in this office because I can't always run my air conditioner because the way I have things set up here. Okay, let's check it out. Some paperwork the quick start guide, and a product guide. There's the USB cable, but not just any USB cable, it is up to times. It is a USB type C, but yeah, this thing, is super tiny indeed. Now next to the Pixel 3, you can see that it's fairly small. My hand is around seven inches and it is pretty lightweight as well. It feels like it's pretty hollow in there. But just before I open up the inside, take a look at the outside. We got some four little rubber feeding. We got some information there. A little vent is obviously the filter right inside there. I don't know, there you go, you can see it. And you can see that the vent can be moved up and down. And in the back is where the fan, where it'll breathe and it'll intake. And at the very bottom, there's the USB Type-C plug-in. Other than that, here is the handle where you can see you can press this down and we pop this open. And then here's another top. And as you see, there's other things left inside. Now this is the filter. And then the inside we have a little pocket and space for the filter. Okay, and as you remember, I mentioned that my AC is not always capable to move around with me or I can't use it all the time. How can a portable or a desk fan cool off as hard as an AC? Well, that's because this uses water. So we're gonna fill the reservoir with water. Now this little spout here is gonna be the funnel so that you can pour the water inside here. There is the hole and this is where the tank is. So there's actually a tank on the side and I'm gonna use my water, pour this right inside. And it has 800 milliliters. Now you can see 500 milliliters is basically 17 ounces. So it will take more water. During water filling, be sure to unplug the device. Watch the water level through the side. Now the line is right here. You can see that the water level, so I can actually keep filling up. Take it out. You can see the open side, we're gonna place this towards the back where the intake is. And now let's top it off. And that will be the power button. Here's a portable bank. Plugged, detected, there's light. Oh, there we go. Now that's going a lot faster. Oh, it does get faster. Now press and hold, and there's light. There's light on the side of this thing. Now there is a soft glow. And there we are, a blue glow. And this is actually going towards my face, and I can feel it. This is a noise that I can sleep with. It doesn't sound like there's a lot of ticking, any bubbling, it just sounds constant, so it's nice to hear. Whoa, this is actually <laughs> faster and way more. As you can see, the color is solid now. And that's turned off. Night light, press and hold. Turns it off, press and hold. Turns it on. Nice little glow for a night light. Now I'm gonna run this for a little while and see how I feel as I'm editing this video and I finish the touches for when my final review is. All right, I just came back from camping and I said I was gonna do a review, final review, after I was editing pieces of the video that I just recorded and it's literally six days later that I've been using this and I took a camping and I built a cargo trailer, camper style, toy hauler. Anyways, I like white noise and this fan noise is very simple and quiet and it's nice, it's constant, it doesn't have like weird two tones, no ticking. So I like this fan already because of that. Now, filling up the water, it does last quite a bit. So I am at 53% and I had it at a 100 and I used this for three nights and I have 53% left a battery on my portable charger just running off of this in the trailer. And I have to say that when I put 
cold water from a freezer or, or just cold water from a sink, it definitely pushes it to be a lot cooler. Now I do love that this is type C connections because I can use my iPad connection, my pixel connection, just plug in and go. And you can see that one is pretty low. I don't really feel that much coming out of it, but it is on and it does mystify if you have humidifier, level two, level three, love that noise for nighttime, and level four, that's the highest one, and the airflow from it, if when I'm editing videos right here, I'm able to move this and blow to the direction that I want, so yes, I do love it. I will be keeping this. So yes, this doesn't have any Freon like an air conditioner where it has a pump and a generator. But honestly, the water does make a colder difference. Not like an AC, but cold enough to make you feel like, yes, this is something that you would like more than just a fan blowing air. If you put your hand over or let it blow in your face with the cold water, you're going to feel that temperature drop. It's going to feel good. You'll notice it. So if you want one for yourself, you already know what to do. Find the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Later.